Xbox 360. Uh-huh. Uh, a while ago, believe it or not, even though I had this baby it up, uh, I had my console very, you know, it's in a very comfortable spot. Anyway, it still had the red ring of death. Uh, why? Are you, you're probably gonna question. The fans might, you know, ruin the 360. Uh, your idea was stupid, raising it up. Uh, okay, first of all, you can get the Red Ring of Death for many reasons. And one of the main reasons uh, was the hardware failure due to overheating. If you can look at my 360, it would not overheat. I have a fan, it's elevated. But a while ago, I had a Red Ring of Death, which was very unusual because I had my, three, my 360 pampered. Uh, as you can see, uh, I mean, you're gonna ask me now, what, why? It's not effective. Your, your console had, uh, your console had a red ring of death. What happened? But basically, I found out that my console was very, very dirty, and that's not gonna help your console at all. So you need to clean this. I can't show it. Uh, I'll get my, you know, hold on. I'll get the other one. You should clean this, this part, yeah, that part. No, this is not from my current 360, this is from my old 360, whatever. Uh, you need to clean this part, especially this. It was very dirty, you don't want to get dirt into it, it can put in the system or something. Uh, yeah, you need to clean that part. And there's, you know, uh, micro... I saw in a video once that you know you need to have a surge protector uh, so it won't fuck up your system and a lot of comments say that don't believe micro what everything Microsoft tells you it's bullshit uh, well trust me believe that part of believe that part uh, I know Microsoft is uh, you know they they're kind of shitty now and yeah they're getting on my nerves but what they said was true because sometimes uh, misfiring of the uh, voltage will cause your 360 to have the red ring of death so let's see I after I cleaned it up after I fixed uh, my voltage regulator and placed in a surge protector let's see if it's still gonna turn on hold on I you can see it's turned on over there over there yeah it's turned on let's see if it will fire up my system and yes, it's firing up my system. See, fired up my system. It's working! And it had the red ring of death just about an hour ago. And you'll, uh, and you'll know. Let, let's see, let's turn it off again. Let's turn, up. let's turn this off to show you that it's not a hardware failure. Let's turn it off. Let's turn it on again. And let's turn this on again. Yeah, this is just a tip for the 360 lovers out there. Yeah. And it's turned on again. Anyway, yes, I did have my Red Ring of Death. I was not able to record it. I was scared at first because I thought, oh no, shit, my system is fucked up. But as a tip to gamers out there, you need to have surge protector. Uh, yeah, and you clean your console at least uh, once a week, 
and try to... I know it's not a hardware failure because when I had my first ring, red ring of death on the first console, uh, it had, you know, I was playing Grand Theft Auto 4, which is a very demanding game. Uh, it lagged, it froze, and there. I know I knew that it was the GPU, but here, uh, it ne I after the red ring of death, I played UFC, I played Grand Theft Auto for about an hour. After I pulled it out, the, sis the, the CD was cold. And the system was cold, so it was not due to overheating. So, tip to gamers out there: if you did this setup, or if you did any pampering to your console, and it's still fucked up, try cleaning your console, for, or try buying a surge protector. It might work. It might work because mine had an ROD without you know, without it being heated up. So, it might be some other causes. So, thank you guys and enjoy. Hey.